Alright, this is Huvipiste Info and Jatkot and I'm here with Skid Row. Hi guys. Hey man. How you doing? How are you doing? Uh, you came in last night. Yeah. If I heard a rumor right, you were spotted on the town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what, we get in like 3 o'clock. In the, yeah, in the afternoon, but yeah, last night we were just at a, one of your local Prague. pubs. Yeah. In Prague? Yeah. Oh, cool. So how was it? It was great. It was very chill. We uh, had a few beers, a few shots, and a few laughs. Then jet lag hit us like a freight train, and we were out. So, so today, you, all you've done is just resting up? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Oh. Falling asleep, waking up, falling asleep, waking <laughs> up. <laughs> we'll be ready for tonight, but, though. But that, that's sort of the best thing when you can come in town the day before, and then you don't have to stress about, are we on time? Yeah, exactly, exactly. It was... Uh, it was it was really nice out. It was great just on the courtyard having a beer, you know. Yeah. Were, cool. were you just with a band or were you uh, with like do you have friends in Tampere? I know you've been here at least before. Um, um have I? Yeah, I, <laughs> I've heard a rumor that you've been doing some tour managing and No, I don't tour manage, I manage, but I don't oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I hire tour managers, ah, yeah, thankfully. Yeah. I couldn't do that at all. <laughs> Trust me. I'm not equipped enough. My, my sources were mistaken. No, I managed the band down. So yeah, I, I but they were here. Gosh, six years ago, and yeah. I, I wasn't with them when they okay. came. Okay. So it was just you guys uh, just hanging out? Yeah. yeah. Having, just having no clue. Is this the first time you're in Thangres, then? Uh, yeah. yeah, first time in this city. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So, so you just, looks good, we're going there. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, some people told us there's some places, and, okay. and okay. so we went and cool. checked out a few of them. Yeah. Next time you're around here, you let me know. I'll give All right, tour. give us the tour. <laughs> it's a really cool place, though. It is. It's really nice. People are great. Is it a college town? Oh uh, yeah, it's it's called it's done. A lot of lot of young people. Oh, I was wondering a lot of yeah. tattooed people walking around. Yeah, but then also everybody uh, who goes to school they turn out to be salesmen for some reason. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> I don't know why, but it's um, tattooed sales salesmen. <laughs> but this is like a real rock and roll city all, all the way from the eighties. Uh, you guys maybe know a little something about the eighties, but even even nowadays it's like. Um, we we got bands that are the nostalgic eighty stuff, but we also like really like the new new stuff. So it must be fun to come to a place where they really appreciate like a band like you who's been around and you've been you know back in the day and you're still doing it and you got new stuff, old stuff. It's just great to be able to to have the opportunity to perform in front of people. It, it's twenty five years now. This is the twenty fifth anniversary of you know when we released our first record and the band first started touring and stuff. So. Man, to think that we're still able to, that people still want to see us, it's pretty amazing, man. It's yeah. awesome. You probably didn't think about that when you had your first reaction. Hell no. 25 years later, we're going to go to Europe and... <laughs> we knew, we knew New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. That was about it, you know, and then uh, boom. Yeah. But then again, looking, looking from here, uh, like New York looks like a whole like country to us. Yeah, yeah, it's sure. It's a small place, so you probably had a lot of places to tour over there also. Oh yeah, I mean, just uh, we're just we were kids from New Jersey that yeah. had huge dreams, and we're lucky enough that we're still living these yeah. dreams out. Yeah. And uh, you know, we didn't know 25 years down the road that we'd still be doing this yeah. and making new music, and we'd have songs that are transcending generations at our shows. We see our core fan base coming with their younger brothers and sisters or their kids or whatever, and it's pretty cool to be able to say that. Yeah. We, we never thought we'd be one of those bands. Yeah, yeah you're, you're still here and kicking it now. Uh, last year you released a new EP, mm -hmm. and I, I heard a rumor there might be another one at some point, so you're still doing the new stuff, which is a really cool one. I was just listening to it on the way here. Oh, and good, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's exciting times for us, man. I mean, we, you know, we're lucky enough that we can do everything on our own terms now, and... Uh, so we set our own schedules and, and set our own touring and everything. It's all done by us. And that just gives you an amazing amount of freedom. Um, so we'll have another record, another EP coming out. It'll be the second one in a series of three uh, in August. August 6th in the yeah. EU. August 6th. Are you going to tour Europe with that also? Oh, yeah. We're, uh, <laughs> we're coming back. Like two more times after this oh, run, right? Yeah, yeah two, two awesome. more. Remember times. to stop by here. Yeah, we're we're, uh, we're doing uh, this run, and then we have another run in August, and then we come back. I believe it's October, and we're doing stuff in the UK on our own. Then we're meeting up with Saxon and finishing out the year with them okay. uh, on their was it the thirty fifth anniversary of denim and leather? Uh, it's uh, denim, stronger law, wheels of steel. All those records, I think that's what they're playing, those three records. Yeah. So we're finishing out the year doing that. But yeah, it, it, 
the new EP is called Rise of the Damnation Army, uh, chapter, uh, uh, United World Rebellion, Chapter 2. It comes out August 5th in... Wait a minute. August, August 4th in Europe. August 5th in America and August 6th everywhere else in the world, okay. UK and, and everywhere and else. And is it, is it like physical also or just a... Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yep. And uh, the European Doing version. Vinyl? Mm -hmm. In Europe awesome. we are, yeah. 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 Uh, how is it in, in the United States um, compared to Europe? We still have a lot of vinyl collectors and that's like a really cool thing and, and people really still want to have a physical... Do you still sell a lot of like CDs and especially do you sell vinyls? It's not like it is in Europe. Europe yeah. is... is I don't know. I, Europe is still more the more hard rock fan uh, there than there are in the states. Um, they seem to music is still a, a huge part of their lives. Uh, it's it's a large part of the fabric of their lives, and they treat it with such respect, man. And and the loyalty is un, un, unbelievable. Um, so the, stuff like that uh, it sells a lot better in in Europe than it does in the states. I've I've also heard. Uh... Not, not a lot of guys, but a couple of guys have been saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to move to Sweden or Finland or something like that. That, um, Like Doug Blair, who's playing here tomorrow, he does a lot of shows in Tampere and he hangs a lot in, in Stockholm and does, does that kind of stuff. And, and uh, have you ever thought of, hmm, maybe maybe not not move totally, but hmm, maybe get a summer residence? In, uh, it's so <laughs> funny, we were talking about that because we're like, we're doing so much touring in Europe and, and the fact we're going to be doing even more as we progressively get through this year and into next year and stuff. So we were half jokingly said that way, you know, we, maybe we should get a place in, in yeah. Europe and base out of it, you know. Yeah, get a band house. Yeah, that would be like the... Drive all the property value down. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's great in Finland because you can get a place from the woods and you, can, you don't even bother anyone. You just right. get a sauna and, and, you know, go fishing <laughs> yeah. and that would be great. I'll start a black metal band. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it next to the church. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Bother those guys. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> right. So uh, tonight you're playing, or today, tonight, I don't know. Do you, do you consider it night? It's like a pretty early show. <laughs> like, I'm going to do a show after this, and we start like 11, 12 o'clock. So that's, wow. that's still early for me. Uh, that's cool, man. What a, It's interesting. It's completely... A reversal, you know. We were walking around last night, and it was still light out. And you know, two o'clock in the morning, we're hammered, and it's still light out. Like a uh, new meaning to the word day drinking. Yeah, yeah, you can do it all day. Of course, it flips in the winter time. Then it's yeah, no, I know. Yeah. It's a uh, whole, whole blackout for the whole day. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, you're playing tonight in South Park Festival. You're headlining, hmm. and uh, I don't know. Do you usually do like these kind of? When you do the big shows, are you usually headlining, especially here in Europe? Because at least here in Finland, you're considered a pretty big deal for us. So, uh, like when you're touring, are you usually sort of like um, jerking the curtain at this, <laughs> or are, are you doing like you're doing tonight? Like you're you're like it, the main band. It's both. Sometimes we're, uh, you know, sometimes we'll be headlining like here on the main stage. Sometimes we'll headline the second stage, or we're in the middle of the pack on the main stage. It all depends. Uh, yeah. on, on the market and where we fit in, you and, know. And we, which do you prefer? Do you sort of want to be the the guys who have, like, we're going to steal the show, or do you want to be the guys We always who take that attitude, whether we're going on first or last. We always want to be the guys that steal the show. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's still, you know, long hair is blowing, at least. We're, <laughs> it's, it's still, and it's still guitar solos. I was listening to the EP, like, you're sharp as ever. And, well, thank you. Uh, I mean, we take a lot of pride in what we do, you know, and... and We've, guitar solos were, were, you know, I'm biased because I'm one of the guitar players. I love playing them if they add yeah. something to the song. Yeah. If they don't add anything, what's the point? It's got to say something. But it is a part of the song. And and I was really bummed when music sort of gave that up, you know. I, uh, it just, I was like, wow, why? Yeah. You know? Yeah, especially like um, two early 2000s American hard rock was really like um, shitty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say complacent. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was. It was really safe, and yeah. it was. Uh, it wasn't exciting to me, and um, I lost interest in that sort of that area of music. Um, and I just started going back to all my old records that I, I knew and loved. You know, whether it's a, you know bands from the seventies or, or Pantera. You know, just songs with energy and vibrance and, and melody and 
you know, those things are important, man. And I think that, you know, it got lost along the way. Okay. Hey, uh, final, final question. Uh, we're going to see you hopefully back here in Tampere. So uh, just give up. You want to plug something, you've got a new EP coming out. So uh, let's hear it and say hi to all the li listeners and viewers. Uh, we want to, first of all, we want to say thanks for your unconditional support for the last 25 years and get, uh, affording us the luxury of being able to come here and put out new music. And the newest EP is called uh, Rise of the Damnation Army, United World Rebellion Chapter 2. It's got five originals and two bonus tracks, which are covers. And uh, it was a lot of fun to make, and we're really looking forward to hearing what you guys think of it. So thanks for everything. Okay, thanks, man. You got it.